what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Good day, everyone. Welcome to the Promise Stand Podcast. This is Zar from Chindari Beats, and this is John from Oh My It's John. So, actually, we don't know what we're gonna talk about here. <laughs> There's a lot of topics we have in mind, but we decided to go for one common thing that we all had in our childhoods: those '90s cartoons, '90s cartoons that were shown on the TV back when TV was a Thing. Well, back when uh, TV was uh, was, <laughs> was something <big>. everybody <laughs> everybody knows <laughs> about. <laughs> okay, so um, 90s cartoons. Maybe uh, uh, it all started at the 80s. Actually, the those types of cartoons. It all started with uh, Ninja Turtles back in 89. Mm. Uh-huh. So uh, Ninja Turtles started this thing uh, of being four anthropomorphic. Uh, creatures or what creatures slash men slash teenagers. yeah they're teenagers they're, uh, with uh, attitudes <laughs> <Power Rangers. laughs> <Power Rangers. laughs> yeah they're teenagers and they started this trend uh, for mm-hmm. animal hybrids animal human hybrids yeah in a like team furries <laughs> no not really. not really furries, <laughs> furries yeah so um, again if you're not uh, familiar with uh, Ninja Turtles even though they've got Uh, tons of clones already, and there's the Mac- Michael Bay films. Yeah. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are a group of four turtles that has names based on Renaissance um, figures. Art- yeah, artists. <clears throat> there, there was uh, Donatello, Michelangelo, Ma- Michelangelo, <laughs> Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo. Leonardo. Okay. So after this, uh, tons of other teams showed up. So here today in this episode, we have friends from the Potato <laughs> Entertainment Podcast. Hey everyone, this is Renz. Tater's gonna tate. <laughs> <laughs> we have Willie from uh, Potato Entertainment Podcast, as well as uh, the owner of Comic Newbies. Pare patata so. And also we have Adrian from Pinoy, Pinoy PlayStation. PS. Yo, what's up? Playing on PlayStation represent. <laughs> Man, nigga. Man, nigga. Okay, so um, all of us here know some Ninja Turtle clones, and I think we're gonna start with Renz because I think he has a toy of one of these ones. Yeah, the the first Ninja Turtle clone that I can think of that are also four anthropomorphic teenagers is Street Sharks. I'm not oh, sure if you guys remember that, but that's like one of the weirdest. Things that Vin Diesel ever did in his oh, life. Yeah. yeah, that was because he Vin made a commercial <laughs> with the Street Sharks toys. I actually had a couple of them. I had um, the calamari villain. Oh yes, yes. Mm. I had the the whale shark that was a black dude that turned into a black orca whale. Yeah, and then I had <laughs> That's uh, so racist. I had an, uh, yeah, it is so racist. I had an electric eel. I don't know what the hell his name was, but he was an electric eel that shoots out other eels from his hands. Street Sharks is that cartoon where these. Uh, Humanoid sharks are are like swimming in the, in the street. streets. Yes. They're like wrecking the streets while yeah, swimming. Streets while and, swimming. And, and everyone's just well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're good guys. Anyway. They're good guys. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, the, the stupidest thing is the villain because his name is Doctor Piranha. Oh. And then the way he transforms is he shakes his head, and then it flips and turns into a piranha humanoid. Like he still looks like a human. His skin is pale. It's white. He has a eye patch and everything, but his teeth are like messed up. So it's obviously a villain. <laughs> I have a poor <laughs> recollection of this. Uh, street, street sharks are one of their basic uh, things that is that they all have rollerblades. I don't think they have. No, I think it was just one of them. It was just, just the, the blue one, the blue oh, yeah. one with the purple stripes. Everyone just uh, runs. The yeah, the tiger mm-hmm. shark. Can they transform back into humans? No, no, no. I think that was the point of like they were trying to look for a cure. And the prana has the cure, but he didn't want to give it to them. Funny yeah. thing is, the the only thing that I remember is them like wrecking the roads. 
<laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the like, only matters. <laughs> That's well, the only thing that matters. Yeah, they're fin but it's, and it's, it's super the cool. Yeah. But it's, of course, it's super cool. Whenever you do that, they they just wreck the streets while they're swimming, and then mm. they just dive out. Mm. They just jump out of the road like <laughs> fish yeah. jumping out of water. Which is actually a um, recurring theme for with all these anthropomorphic, yeah, anthrop- anthropomorphic uh, cartoons oh. back in the uh, back in the '90s um, with street sharks and. The TMNT and uh, the others. It's, mo- it's would mostly it would be a group of either teenagers or well, group of humans. Yeah, four dudes. Four dudes. Do. But mostly young <laughs> young people <laughs> that born. that kids can relate to, I mm. guess. During that time, because yeah. th- that was a big rebellious phase in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. they were marketing heavily towards teens. Yeah. For some reason. Okay, so uh, Adrian, uh, what uh, TMNT clone can you think of? Well, the one, the only one that really sticks out to me right now. Well, I don't think it would be a proper clone, but it's, it's the anthropomorphic dudes anyway with attitudes. Mm-hmm. Um, the biker mice. Uh, biker, yeah. biker it's, mice. It's actually dudes. confirmed the, as a TMNT clone. Yeah. Biker mice from Mars. Despite only biker, being biker, three. Biker, biker. Yeah, despite it being three dudes, three biker dudes. Vinny. That was the M game. M, M, M. Then the dude with the uh, shades. Yeah, the dude with, with the shades. shades. With the, <laughs> His name was Shades. Shades. The shades, one that actually looks. Dude. Yeah, the one that looks more like a rat than mm-hmm. a mouse. But these uh, these guys aren't humans, right? They're like no. uh, they're Martians. Mice. They're they're like Martians. Martians. It, uh, the story was like this: there were uh, Mar- uh, there in Mars. There's a race uh, full of rats that actually have the same culture as the humans, uh, but suddenly uh, aliens from other plan from another planet. Uh, that starts with the letter P started invading Mars for their resources and so to escape what's happening there the uh, three the three brothers went to Earth and they were looking for a way to return to Mars then for some reason uh, Limburger oh, yeah. Limburger uh, is mm-hmm. a, a human but is actually an alien that was one of the race that kept, that was fucking up Mars is Limburger, so they they had uh, allies here on Earth, as well as the rebellion. The remarkable thing yeah. about oh yeah, the mice and the pro- is Throttle Modo and Vinny Throttle being the one with the shades. Uh, Vinny is the one with the flares, and Modo is the one with he starts with an M. <laughs> starts with an M. M. He's the more cyborg one. He lost his eye, and whenever he gets angry. His eye just turns up red. I, I like Modo very much. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, th- that's another clone. Thank you for that, Mac Off. One remarkable Bro. thing that I... <laughs> one remarkable thing about uh, this cartoon that I still remember is that they can actually ride their bikes across walls, mm-hmm. if I'm not, mis- if I'm not they mistaken. They can defy gravity for some reason. <laughs> yeah. They, they have, uh, defy alien gravity. Aliens. <laughs> aliens. They have gravi- <laughs> gravity defying uh, motorcycles. I think I can defy gravity. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Willie, any TMNT clone you remember? You still remember from back in the 90s? Back in the day. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, other examples of TMNT clones are there's Battletoads. Yeah, Battletoads. Battletoads, yeah, Battletoads yeah. is one of the uh, best examples because, again, there were four and they were fucking ninjas. And they're actually well known for the games. It's a really hard fucking game. In the business, uh, back then. It's a hard ass game. Yeah, seriously. Uh, other, uh, there's Extreme Dinosaurs. Oh, that one I love. Uh, mm-hmm. They actually that... did a crossover with the Street Sharks. I, I super <laughs> love Extreme Dinosaurs. Gar- Gargoyles weren't an TMNT clone. They were more like, they were like a, a clone of. Yeah, they were, they were more on oh, yeah, the. Oh, yeah. what's that? The Skeletons? Uh, skeleton warriors. Skeleton warriors. Skeleton but warriors. we're going to talk, talk about them. Eventually. Actually, right now, we're going to talk about <laughs> Skeleton Warriors. So, Skeleton Warriors, I think, was the first one. Or, uh, no, for a group. Let's see. 
there's no, it's got, gotta be Thundercats. But again, that was the 80s. That was way back. Was way back. But then still Thundercats worth and mentioning. Silver Hawks. Then uh, when the 90s started, they were there were the Gargoyles, there were the Skeleton Warriors, and I don't know if anyone remembers. There's uh, the the Mummies. Uh, can yeah. you sing the song? <laughs> we are the mummies, <laughs> protector of the new Ramses. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one. I, I actually love that cartoon. Yeah, so I like the other guy, Armon, because his name actually meant no arm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no arm. Uh, I was, uh, I was with, uh, I, or uh, rather, I like Nefertiri. Nefertiri, <laughs> because it, she never shows her. <laughs> and and uh, the mummies were, well, they, they were mummies. That yeah. resurrected in the modern era, because one of the descendants of the old pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh Ramses, oh, yeah. no, appeared in this era, and um, he accidentally unlocked the awesome. seal of the tomb. Yeah, because they're only and that was weird. After that, uh, shit happens and stuff. Blah blah blah. That's, that's why and awesome. now there were four mummies that were protecting the new Ramses. So, kid. the kid. So, that that's that. And what, what, Skeleton Warriors, I think this is Zar's territory. Well, not really. I, oh, you love that. <laughs> no, I vaguely remember this, but there is this one character from Skeleton Warriors that I really, really like. Yeah. But basically, Skeleton... The one who melts in the shadows? Yes. yes. <laughs> Skeleton Warriors is... Um, the Skeleton Warriors themselves, they're actually the enemies. Yeah. <laughs> the, the cartoon is uh, titled Skeleton Warriors, but they're actually fighting against the, the skeletons. Skeleton Warriors, yeah. And, uh, but... They there's, were just half-skeleton dude. Yeah, there's this one character who's a sort of an end hero, mm-hmm. and uh, he's a half-undead, half-human character, and uh, he has this ability to enter shadows and uh, travel across shadows. Light something. I, I, I can't uh, remember what his name was, but it was uh, he was the Super most remarkable yeah, character in that show. Most, uh, he's like he's more zombish than the skeleton. Yeah. and he's very uh, stoic. You yeah. know how I really I love those kind of characters. He's uh, the brother of the prince, mm-hmm. and the um, him and the leader of the skeleton war is once plotted to overthrow the kingdom but the guy uh, the zombie-ish guy changed his ways but accidentally got hit by the the curse and he lived as a half a man so yep so uh, if you guys again we're talking through memory here if you guys know anything about uh, the uh, the topics or the cartoons These we're cartoons, talking about, yeah. we'd appreciate it if you share it with the comments with us. Okay, so any um, like Thundercats clone? Oh, Thundercats. Talk about the Thundercats first, friends. Thundercats, the the group of them, Jara yeah. and all of them, yeah, Lionel and, and oh, this like who's the you have more problem. <laughs> like, that's the weakest villain that you can have against five freaking anthropomorphic yeah. cats. And they're a ball, of yard, a ball of yard versus five human cats who are super strong. Good job. <laughs> oh, there was a remake of yeah. Thundercats. The, the remake was actually darker because what happened there was uh, I think they, uh, some of them became slaves. Mm. It was set... It's, it's not actually a remake but a, a continuation of the Thundercats where what happened was they... Uh, Lionel fell into something and he, well, he awoke several years after the original series, and some of them were slaves now. Chitara was like, I don't know what the fuck happened to her and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but well, almost every one of them became slaves. Is that you? Anyway, so, um, yeah. what else? What other cartoons were sound? The, uh, the, the SWAT cats are also SWAT yeah, cats. SWAT cats. SWAT cats. Yeah. yeah. Any anyone remembers the SWAT cats? I just course. remember them being in the junkyard all the time, and they have, they have to keep saving that one chick. The, yeah, the reporter. Uh, the chick. reporter. <laughs> they built that uh, jet because the, the SWAT cats. They they actually just ride this really cool jet. Jet yeah. is a jet fighter that they built from scrap or something because they live in the game. <laughs> a bunch of scraps. <laughs> also, what what happened was they were actually former enforcers. Mm. Then they got into this trouble uh, with Dark Cat, 
and instead of following orders from the head of the enforcers, they decided to to chase, pursue uh, Dark Hat, which was the right thing, but the leader of enforcers wanted the glory of himself and blamed the SWAT cast for it. Chance and the future Razor. <laughs> Are they confused vision. with Dark Cat and the claw of Inspector Gadget? Because I think they both have a similar look to them. Yeah. They're metal, they have a claw. And, and they don't show them. They don't oh, show them that much. Yeah. Yeah. You don't never see yeah. the, face. the face. But eventually Dark Cat showed his face. He was ugly as fuck. He didn't, know, <laughs> he didn't look like a cat at all. He looked like a demon. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And his power was he can summon imps. Oh, so and then it has this su- demon. He's a demon. Yeah, he's a demon. So it has this uh, supernatural yeah. twist to it. Mm-hmm. And there were other villains, include the metallic hats. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, two, yeah, the two cyborg versions mm-hmm. of them. The, 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 they're like the metallic hats are uh, wa- uh, husband and wife, and uh, they were dying, but suddenly they got uh, kidnapped by this uh, professor, and then they got turned into robotic. Uh, they were supposed to be robotic uh, benevolent androids but they retained their thievery ways so they broke out killed uh, tons of stuff and that <laughs> yeah there were other the, the villains in SWAT SWAT cats were really interesting seriously oh there's also this um, Sonic cartoon Mm. Back in the day, I, I can't remember the. Are we, uh, are we changing oh, yeah, the Sonic uh, Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah, let's let's change. Uh, we're changing topics now. Oh, but it's, no, so it's also, still also anthropomorphic '90s cartoon. So and uh, it's a they're sort of a team. This is like the um, that Tales darker Tales. one. Ah, Sonic Underground. Yeah, no, not Sonic <laughs> Underground. Not that one. Um, Sonic Sonia and Manic. <laughs> not that one. No, um, wait, wait. It's darker. So Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> That's edgier. <laughs> hey, I like Shadow. Fuck you. <laughs> but uh, I'm talking about that Sonic uh, cartoon with, where they had the uh, princess. Ah, yeah, the rebellion. Yeah, they they're like mm-hmm. a part of this uh, resistance. Group. That's where I think that's yeah. where Sally uh, was birthed in. The yeah, it's a, that's a TV series where one of their undercover bases was in the trash pile. Yeah, exactly. And then one. their uncle was robot robot the size or something, mm-hmm. but he was actually. Giving them information mm-hmm. as like a mole from Robotnik's army. Mm-hmm. So there's this scene where every time Sonic will just dash into this pile of garbage, <laughs> yeah. and then at the last weird. minute, at the last minute, that door will open. <laughs> and also, um, the main villain that was Mecha Sonic, uh, Ro- Robotnik actually built a perfect Sonic clone with uh, evil intent. Megasonic? Megasonic. I remember I ha- uh, I had this favorite character from mm-hmm. that show. She uh, it's a female character. Sally. She, she's a rabbit. Oh. Um, but she lost her legs or something. Mm-hmm. Or her arms. Or her, her, her one, arms. one of her arms. One of her arms as well. Oh. And uh, it got replaced with a uh, robotic uh, prosthesis. Mm. And that's just you know. Awesome as fuck. You're really, awesome. you're really into like metal robot. <laughs> you're so metal. <laughs> you're so metal. So edgy, man. Yeah. I, the character I like there was Espio the Chameleon. Oh. He's like the spy. The, the, the most unremarkable character from that show is actually the prince. Yeah. <laughs> he, he doesn't really... Um, uh, her character the, the, it just comprises of the damsel in distress. Yeah, she's sort of a... Uh, I, I, is she like a pseudo romantic interest? No, she's actually she the is the romantic interest Sonic. for Sonic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, speaking of Sonic, since we're Probably at it, here, before yeah. that rebellion uh, Sonic thing, uh, we had the much more lighthearted Sonic. Oh, this is the old one. It's like the uh, it's like <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> so, yeah, it's yeah, the fastest thing. Yeah, the catchiest, was, uh, catchiest opening theme song. Yeah. Also, uh, I think um, before uh, uh, th- this was the time where Robotic was coined uh, like Egg- Eggman. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that that's the. Uh, that's like the ti- uh, Tiny Toons version of Sonic, right? Or the uh, Looney Tunes version of uh, Sonic. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, if we're talking about Sonic, the Sonic cartoon, we gotta talk about the granddaddy of all the game cartoons, which was uh, which was uh, Mario. 
<laughs> what? The old school yeah, the old school Mario. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was like a great leap, I think. <laughs> but no, I mean... Well, video games, video games, yeah. Video games, video games turned into cartoons. You gotta talk about the Super Mario ones, oh. where there were... Uh, the live action part. Yeah, the live action mm-hmm. Super Mario Brothers, and then it's it's just a way for them to introduce the episode, mm-hmm. right? It was really popular back then, those kinds of stuff, because uh, I, I think it's uh, together with that uh, Super Mario uh, episode. There's also uh, uh, what do you call that? The Captain Nintendo. Yeah, Captain. Captain, Captain N, N yeah. right? And. Captain and actually murdered like a lo- or yeah they murdered a lot of other cartoons because Captain and and uh, uh, represented the dream of the nineties kid, <laughs> which is to have an adventure with all of the video game characters you you like. <laughs> so you can see Simon Belmont teaming up teaming up with fucking Mario and just ruining everybody's dreams, <laughs> <laughs> every villain's dreams. That's so weird, but it worked. Yeah. Or Actually, if you're gonna talk about video game cartoons of the '90s, Mega Man. You guys remember Mega oh, Man? Oh, the super fighting robot. robot. <laughs> Mega Man. <laughs> like his power is box. The, the U.S. Video. Mega Man, yeah. the shittiest. <laughs> Actually, I'm a I big mean, Mega Man fan. So I really. Don't... Mention that. I actually watched that cartoon. Yeah, I, watched that. I, 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 I did. I, 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 sad, I sadly did. <laughs> with Proto Man as brother, right? Yeah. Yeah. Proto Man is actually his brother. He was actually the first robot ever created by in the, Dr. Light. Yeah, Dr. Light. Yeah. He got stolen by Dr. Wiley just so uh, he can, uh, what do you call this? Uh, study how the robot, ma- robot masters work. The best so. part of the Mega Man is Cutman. Cutman! Catman! <laughs> and Gutsman! <laughs> yeah. The the stupid dude. Like, They're like Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah, you don't even know what he was made. He's like he's made of black and yellow Legos. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> black and yellow. Ha ha. Even when I was a You know what it is. <laughs> even when I was a kid when I was watching The Mega the, Man. The Mega Man cartoon. Mm-hmm. I was like hoping for it to get better mm-hmm. as 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 I was watching it, you know. <laughs> I, I had this secret hope that if I keep watching this, it would get better someday. <laughs> it did There's not. actually just one real thing that uh, got better in that series, but uh, it, it it's near the end when they were introducing the X series on SNES. X actually showed up. Oh, okay. Yeah, because. Uh, I think one of the enemies went back into time, and uh, Mega Man and X need, needed to team up. At least X was portrayed um, properly instead of Mega Man's stupid shit. So it was like a promotion for, for X. Yes, Mega, Mega, Mega Man X. For you, was his power portrayed correctly in the cartoon? You know no. when he touches someone and then he then his mind on his forehead is like, yeah. a, like no. a symbol, like a schematic or whatever the hell. <laughs> the power yeah, was. he needs to defeat the Robot Masters. But you can't deny that the opening theme song no, is catchy as shit. hell. No, it's, it's catchy, catchy as man. hell. And the animation on the op- it when I mentioned <laughs> <laughs> And the animation the opening super theme song is actually super good. It's like yeah. a Japanese yeah. anime. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. But the uh, cartoon it's itself not. is like yeah. And Zara super cool. That's why. <laughs> yeah. He's He's a robot man. girl with an arm <laughs> legs. <laughs> okay, so yeah. after that um, what else? What other cartoons? Oh, got to talk about the morning cartoons. In the Philippines, every Saturday, so it's got to start with the Disney ones. Okay, um, there's this uh, Goofy cartoon. Yeah, the Goof Troop. Goof Troop. Oh, and okay. there, that, that was. That was I fun. fucking love that. <laughs> Same here. The Goof Troop was so awesome because Max Goof, Goofy's son is a skater. Yeah. Say he was he uh, back then he was he was one of the coolest thing ever. And, and Loki it was like teaching you a lot of uh, lessons in life, especially I think yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Uh, and Goof Troop. Then also there are other Disney uh, cartoons with uh, were Darkwing Duck. Oh man, I was gonna fucking mention Darkwing Duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Darkwing Duck was one of the best cartoons. 
Disney ever made as a series. <laughs> I really wish they would uh, remake Darkwing Duck or something. I think I, you really wish there was going to be a Frozen series. <laughs> they, they, no, they, they, they no, had... Go, uh, there's a robot in Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Uh, what's his name? You know what what's his name? Robot? The Chip and Dale Rescue. Hey, robots. Rescue yeah. What's his they name? Have a robot there too. What's his name? The the, the robot from Darkwing okay. Duck. I don't know. Mecha yes. Darkwing. Mecha Darkwing. Mecha Duck. I I really I really like that. Uh, I really like that character. Also, since you mentioned uh, Chip and Dale. <laughs> yeah, Chip and Dale is another tune that rescue ranger. No, the cartoon, not the strip club or anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Chip and Dale rescue rangers. Rescue rangers. There you go. Uh, I actually like. What? This is turning into. Is, is there a robot me involved? Just talk, talking about <laughs> characters that I like. Gadget, definitely. Yeah, gadgets. Because hot. she makes all the gadgets. Gadgets hot. And yeah. she's female. And she's female. She... And she's uh, smart. <laughs> I like the Australian fat. Rat. Oh, also the how am I? <laughs> Chip and Dial, what are doing? <laughs> also the fly, the fly yeah, is the like fly. Oh, yeah. It's like their pet. It's no, a, that's not actually the pet. It's it's the fucking strongest fucking dude in the fucking cartoon. <laughs> like seriously, every time they get into trouble, that fly saves them. Yeah, he saves their ass. So many. <laughs> yeah. he saves it's, their ass. So it's, many. It times. should be the fly with Chip and Dale and the rescue rangers. rangers. Maybe yeah. the fly is Chip and Dale rescue. <laughs> <laughs> His full name is Chip and Dale and. Uh, his surname is Rescue Ranger. <laughs> hey, anyway, other cartoons? Yes, Adrian. Do you recall this one Disney cartoon? Mm-hmm. Tailspin? Yeah. Tailspin! It's like oh. a, a spin on Jungle Tails? Book. <laughs> Come <Yeah>. on. <laughs> spin on Tails. It's a spin no. on Jungle Book. Is that where... the one? No, no the, the, one with, the one with the cargo plane. Yeah. yeah. Jungle Book. Yeah. You have, that you have Baloo, you have Bagu- oh. uh, Bagheera. And um, but the, they introduced uh, new characters here. It's like a mother son character mm-hmm. who Baloo works with. Mm-hmm. Basically, he's like uh, uh, this uh, woman was like running a shipping company, yep. shipping company, mm-hmm. and Baloo's the like plane. their uh, pilot. Oh yeah, I remember that, and with all the bananas and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was another. One. That was another one back then. Also, there's the Lion King. Series with Timon and Pumbaa only. Okay, Timon and Pumbaa. That was that's an awesome question. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love Timon. Timon and Pumbaa. Pumbaa can run their own shit without anyone in it. <laughs> Seriously, I think Simba only cameoed in like an episode, and that's his yeah. own thing. The the older one. Are, the we, older are we still in the nineties? Kind of went too far in the 90s. No, that's actually late more than. Yeah, yeah. Like, but it's still late. late, 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 late nineties. Yeah. The best cartoon ever, Captain Planet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go into go that back. realm. Mullet and everything. It's the best series. Yeah, he's like <laughs> fucking Mac- John MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> so he's Captain Planet and the Planet Heroes. Okay, so Captain Planet is actually the spirit of the uh, the avatar of the Earth because the spirit of the Earth was Gaia. Gaia, the spirit of the Earth, can no longer stand the terrible destruction. Invading our planet. Are you like narrating the? <laughs> the first one. Yeah. She sent five magic rings to five special young people. Walter <laughs> from <laughs> Africa, with the power of Earth. Wheeler from uh, from North America. Wheeler with the power of fire. Yeah. From what? Asia. From Soviet Union. From so- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. From Russia. Don't, don't miss Linka. 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 Uh, the power of wind from Asia. There's Gi with the power Gee. of water, and from Mati. South America, there's Mati. 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 The Mati. power of heart. Which now, is, what is the power of heart? I, I don't actually, know. the power of heart can sway people's hearts. It's one of the most powerful. Uh, yeah, I think ever. it's the <laughs> most and, powerful power. And whenever he puts the ring in uh, on top of his head, he can hear the cries of. I, I, I can so feel basically, the Jedi. Mati, Mati, it's a fucking Mati Jedi. The Jedi. <laughs> yeah. You can feel the, the pain. Of basically, it. they combine their powers. Yeah. We, and we have all it. powers combined. <laughs> they can <laughs> they can yeah. We planet. have four benders and a Jedi. <laughs> that's fucking. That's a. That's the best team yeah. ever. <laughs> and they and when the Avatar of Vengeance. <laughs> the Avatar of Vengeance. <laughs> when they combine their powers, they summon this uh, entity, mm, Captain the Avatar Planet. of the John Earth. MacGyver. John MacGyver. <laughs> and actually, <laughs> um, there's also Captain Pollution. Yeah, oh, yeah. he's the, uh, the corrupted version yeah. of Captain Planet. He takes swimming and like nuclear. Yeah. And the only waste. power 
I remember from the Corrupted Rings was hate, which is the antithesis for love. And hate was, I think it was Loot and Plunder who had hate. That was a, that's an old one. If we're talking about old cartoons, like in the 90s. Teams, the teams. Team-oriented. Uh, Sky Commanders. Yeah. Definitely. The, they were actually G.I. Joe clones. <laughs> mm-hmm. But they were given their own series, oh, I guess. We're going to skip G.I. Joe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> G.I. Joe is an, an episode. <laughs> in itself. It's an, an episode in itself. But I guess the uh, one G.I. Joe series that's worth mentioning mm-hmm. would be the newer one. The extreme GI, extreme GI Joe. I, think the, I thought you were going to talk about the Michael Bay film again. <laughs> no, 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 please no. <laughs> but yeah, I, let's move from GI Joe actually, because mm-hmm. uh, that is indeed a good top, a good topic, topic for, for another day. Yes. Yeah. But other clones from GI Joe, we have the Centurions, we have Sky Commandos, we have uh, what the, Vi- Ma- Visionaries. Visionaries. Mm-hmm. So Visionaries is fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because yeah. it is, it is awesome. The, Do their lines and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they can summon like uh, parts of uh, things. They can summon robots. Oh, they actually no, super, supernatural, <laughs> supernatural powers. powers. Yeah, they can transform into their avatars, <laughs> which are animals. And <laughs> I'm gonna, the most peculiar I'm, thing is the main villain's avatar is like a snail. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> That was fucking weird. <laughs> Maybe it's a metaphor. You don't understand. Yeah, I think I need to rewatch that fucking cartoon just to understand the metaphor for that. <laughs> it's a fire-breathing snail. snail. Yeah, that yeah, that see, now that it doesn't itself, make sense. It makes like, less sense. <laughs> the snail by itself, maybe I could take it, but yeah. not like a uh, fire-breathing fire There's snail. also that uh, King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. Oh yeah, they turn into <laughs> fucking <laughs> robots. <laughs> Is that the one where they can summon their weapons from their chest? Yeah, from their, from chest, their chest and from, from their, their shield sometimes. That was weird. Yeah, no, but I like that one. I, yeah, I like, I like that one. one. They're like football oh, players yeah. who got transported into the uh, fantasy realm of mm. whatever. Of uh, They were Camelot. summoned by Merlin mm. to uh, protect Camelot. Then they became the, one, uh, the knights of the round table, which are missing. <laughs> and for some reason, they had technology. I don't know why they needed magic. Merlin's magic, but because they have technology that rivals fucking the future. <laughs> that was weird. a weapon from your chest. Yeah, like, what the fuck? It's like, a, it's still mystical in nature. Mm-hmm. It's not really high tech. It's just mm-hmm. that uh, they had th- these uh, symbols one, one in their armors. Technology that's farly advanced. Because <laughs> it's <considered> magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that would work. <laughs> also, there's, uh, what do you call this? The Centurions, which summon... Ours from team up from space. Oh, they they, ha- they had a, they have a catchphrase. I, I, power extreme. Power, power extreme. extreme. Power extreme. There you go. <laughs> then one of them turns into a tank. One turns into a jet ski, and one turns into is a it, fucking. Is it even counting as a vehicle where you can still see their body? <laughs> yeah. Actually, the villains are still fucking stupid. You can see their bodies. Just fucking snipe them. Snap their shoulders. <laughs> oh my god. There's also this weird. obscure one. Um, Exo soldiers, I think. It's just uh, I remember it vaguely. Yeah, like um, the they one. ride robots, but they just call it, they just call the robots like exoskeletons yeah, or like something. The main guy looks kind of like J. Jonah Jameson. Is yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they just ride these um, open robots. Yeah, like, <laughs> I think it got uh, a nod from Dexter's lab, in which uh, Mandark and Dexter uh, rode exoskeleton robots. It was an odd for. Uh, I really uh, loved that when I was a kid because they they had robots in it. Mm-hmm. And another, <laughs> another thing, uh, I think we need to to make another episode later. Yeah, or I think sometimes we, because yeah. there are a lot of '90s cartoons out there. Uh, let's just make it fast uh, before we hit our time frame. Uh, Double Dragon. <laughs> you just wanted to. You wanted to well, squeeze I, this I wanted in. to squeeze this in. Why? <laughs> the theme song, man. Yeah. Fight for might, the might, might of the, the dragon. dragon. Leave the code, the code of the dragon. <laughs> Billy and Jimmy Lee are dragon muscles now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's this it's a video game cartoon, it's a video again. Game cartoon but it's again. so far from the video game. Yeah, because the, I like it. Every end of the episode has a lesson. Yeah, the, the video the game. The code of the dragon says: <laughs> never steal your classmates. Money, Pencil. Pencil. <laughs> whatever. This is, this is like a fortune cookie shit. <laughs> yeah, and, and because they're and they're, it's a Chinese-based cartoon, right? Yeah, I guess it's just that um, 
they had dragons in the title mm-hmm. of the video game, but the b- video game itself is a beat em up, right? Yeah, it's a beat em up. There's no it's supernatural. It's so violent. I mean, with Jimmy Lee and Billy Lee's mm-hmm. abilities, they didn't really have supernatural powers. But in. Uh, they can't transform either in the game. In the Double Dragon cartoon, they can actually, like, summon. They can summon a dragon arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can transform. And they actually. And they actually. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, upgraded the upgraded armor. To, armor. Yeah, they they keep um. It's like the cartoon keeps uh evolving their powers. Mm. And they they have bikes now. They dragon riders. Uh, also, the car. You know the, the car? car. Yeah. The car that shoots out this. I still have it. The shit. The shoots. Yeah, that the car that shoots green discs. Also, uh, a remark. One remarkable thing about double the double dragon uh cartoon dragon? is double that dragon? uh they have a team. It's like they keep increasing their members. Yeah, the, I the remember. Fat sumo guy. I don't also, know, that the blind uh, dude. <laughs> the blind dude. The, why do they need blind dudes in kung fu, uh, kung fu related uh, <laughs> stuff or franchises? Yeah, we never know. Stereoty- to, stereotypical things. To I close guess. this, uh, to close this one for Double Dragon, there's this uh, episode where they actually. Um, They actually entered the, the information dragon. super highway. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, I think that's where that. the fucking series ended as well. Yes, because it just started they, to get weirder. They weirder. started to beat um, internet viruses. Yeah, and shit. I think they killed the series for that. And with uh, with that said, we actually, keep, yeah. since we we were still on the topic of video game uh, mm-hmm. video game cartoons. We gotta talk. Uh, well, we gotta say Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter. Okay, yeah, of course. We're, the the we, we, American Street Fighter. Cartoon. Yes, the American Street Fighter cartoon with the M Bison meme. <laughs> <laughs> Where the M Bison meme came yeah. from? The yes. And and the main yeah. character in this cartoon would be Guy, Guy. if Guy. I'm not mistaken. Yes. The Street Fighter. Uh, the U.S. cartoons would always put Guy as a lead. But it really uh, doesn't look. It didn't really look good back then. <laughs> I don't know. I I, I liked it back then. I like it, but if really, you, yeah. But if you watch it now, it looks really bad. Even the story. It, it bad. looked like that uh, old wrestling, uh, wrestle uh, WWF cartoon. Yeah, the old WWF. Yeah, cartoon. that was fucking weird. <laughs> With Ultimate Warrior and stuff. Yeah, and the uh, 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 junkyard dog and shit. <laughs> I, think we, I think we need a part But, two. Yeah, do yep. you remember the X Men animated series? Oh yeah, also, there's and Danny X Men. There's other the Hot Rod Dogs, and there are uh, especially the Nickelodeon cartoons. We we gotta do a part of this sometime. Oh yeah, we we need to do we need to dedicate an entire episode to Nickelodeon. Yeah, definitely. Probably. Okay, so guys, again, thank you for listening. This might be a very put together episode, but we really love this topic because '90s cartoons were a big part of our lives and they really shaped who we are when we grew up. <laughs> totally useless fucks. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, so if you like our content, be sure to subscribe. The button is jazzed down. At the lower right of our video, also hit that bell button so you'd know when our videos are up. Um, be part of our notification squad. Also, we have socials. We have facebookcom slash podcast and twittercom slash pod. Also, guys, go plug your channels, of course. And yeah. Don't forget to be a subscriber for Potato Entertainment Podcast. Uh, that's with me, Renz, Willie, sometimes Khalid, and uh, Ralph. Ralph when he's not busy. <laughs> <laughs> also, be sure to like Pinoy PlayStation, Adrian. Yes, Pinoy PlayStation, PinoyPS.com, Facebook.com slash Pinoy PlayStation. And uh, Willie? Um, just go to comicnewbies.com, drop a like, or just, you know, a five-star rating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so that's all we have for today. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.